Welcome everyone to Motorbike Madness Media. Today we're going to be discussing this new technology that the government are trying to implement, which is the new noise cameras. to design uh, technology to measure loud exhausts on motorcycles and cars so people with noisy exhausts can be prosecuted. So as far as I can see, it's just another money-making scheme trying to take money out of people's pockets. That's true. Being devil's advocate for a minute, let's, let's quickly read what I found of why they're doing it. And so they're trying to say that studies have found that exposure to noise can significantly uh, can have significant physical and mental health implications with heart attacks, high blood pressure and two, uh, type 2 diabetes and stress all linked to lo long term contact with loud environments. So they're trying to say that basically the vehicles that are on the roads are causing loud noises that are giving people heart attacks, which old people, maybe if they do hear a loud pop at a bang, yeah, fair enough. Yep. A high blood pressure when you're stressed, I suppose, and you're constantly hearing the same noise over and over again, fair enough. And type 2 diabetes. That's a hard one. Um, as far as I'm aware, diabetes is a, a health condition that's uh, generally type 2, if... I'm right, and don't quote me on this, is uh, usually brought on by a bad diet. Bad diet, and I think I think you can get it through high levels of stress. Yeah. But I'm, I'm pushing the boundaries here of my medical knowledge. It ain't great to begin with. No. So basically, what they're going to do is they're going to trial this camera that has a microphone that will see you come in, that will take your registration plate, that will then measure the decibels of your vehicle going past yeah. and then basically use it as basically a speed camera as far as I can read into it. Yeah, pretty much. It's going to be based on noise. So that what they're saying is anybody with illegal exhaust, so aftermarket or, as you know, being an engineer, you can take the baffles out of your own exhaust, put it back together and make it a little bit louder. So what they're aiming at is people that like to make their cars and motorcycles louder and as we all know both of us being motorcyclists sometimes motorcyclists use that noise exhaust as another warning to other road users that we are there because the biggest common cause of motorcyclists being knocked off is we didn't see him yeah and speaking about that we're, we're currently in may which is motorcycle awareness month which they're currently yeah. trying to push out look twice save a life and you know once again i do I, i'm guilty for this i have taken baffles out in the past i have made you know change the exhaust so it's louder maybe taking a sticker off that says it wasn't street legal obviously you can't prove this i'm not i'm not admitting to that um but yeah like you say I, one there is that style aspect it, it also, when you're riding it, it, it makes you feel something. As with any motorist, they will understand that that growl of the the exhaust does something to your body. But yeah. you've also got the, the the aspect of, like you say, in the safety aspect. If you hear a bike coming from 50 meters away, compared to if he's got a louder exhaust, and 200 meters away, you're going to turn and go, "Oh, he's there." Yeah, don't get me wrong. You know. I completely understand why they're trying to do it because of antisocial behaviour, but then target the areas where you've got groups of teenagers tearing up and down the roads on motorbikes and cars. Don't roll it out and penalise, you know, car enthusiasts, bike enthusiasts, people that are just trying to have a little bit of fun, modify their vehicles. I'm a lorry driver and I know it's happened to me. I ride a motorbike in town up in london 
I've gone to make a turn and I haven't heard the motorbike coming from behind me, but I've seen him at the last minute in the mirror. And then on the flip side of the coin, somebody with a loud exhaust, Beowulf, for instance, you hear them before you see them. And it's a good indication and a good warning that that motorcyclist is there. But there is there is a limit, isn't there? And what what is the limit? Let's let's quickly let's try and find out what is Google to the rescue again. The legal decibel limit or an exhaust. So we've got coming up nothing because my internet's rubbish. Da, 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 da. But I think it's quite loud. I do think if I'm wrong, I think it's 72 decibels. You, you, you might well be right. That I'm, I'm looking at, <laughs> I, I was going to say I'm I'm looking at a picture here of one of these. Uh, I'm guessing it's just something that they've um, put on uh, just to demonstrate what they're trying to do. And it's got 99.8 decibels on the screen of this uh, noise camera. Wow. So, you but know, then how, how, you know, that's not, that's not horrendously loud. I know no. you do get the occasional person that will go out, buy a, put spark plugs loud in their exhaust. exhaust. Yeah. Or buy an extremely loud exhaust. And when it's due for MOT, they'll take the end cans off, put the stock runs back on. Get an MOT on it, bang the uh, bang the aftermarket ones back on afterwards. You know, everybody's done it. Personally, I've never changed the end cans on my bike, uh, never modified a bike. Always, I, I ride it as I buy it. Fair enough. But there's something else that confuses me here, and I wonder if it confuse you too. So currently, we're allowed 72 decibels for our, our, any vehicle on the road. If it's an off-road vehicle, you're allowed two more. Uh, you're allowed one more decibel higher. If it's okay. off-road, right? Fair enough. They've got different. You know, they're normally two-stroke or stuff like that. Yeah. But if it's a wheelchair-accessible vehicle, it's allowed to be two decibels higher. So what's the difference? How how does that work? Th that don't make sense to me. No, it doesn't make any sense to me. I, I'm I'm confused. Um, <laughs> how can a wheelchair accessible vehicle um, be two louder? decibels unless, louder? Yeah, unless they're talking about the warning when they're putting well, the road down. Oh, well, quite potentially, quite potentially. But going into what the actual government have said, so the transport secretary Chris Grading said, noise pollution makes the lives of people and communities across Britain an absolute misery and has very serious health impacts. This is why I'm determined to crack down on the nuisance drivers who blight our streets. New technology will help us lead the way in making our towns and cities quieter. I'm looking forward to seeing how these exciting cameras could work. The trial is not intended to target apparently law-abiding drivers. So this isn't what Chris said. This is just another article. But these are targeting vehicles that are flouting the noise limits before they're allowed on the road. So like you said, putting baffles in taking it for an MOT, rah, rah, rah. Uh, but silences and exhausts must be maintained to a good working order and not to be altered to increase noise. Which is fair enough, and I can understand this, but I don't, agree, I don't agree necessarily with towns and cities choir. I mean, if you're out in the countryside and you're, you know, you're chilling out and stuff like that, maybe, yeah. maybe you don't want to hear a constant scream no, and but then it, if a bike's screaming, you're not going to be hearing him for that long. No, but, yeah, <laughs> like, like I said earlier on, to a point I can understand it, where you've got antisocial behaviour. Yeah. Target the people that are doing it, so, not the people, not the enthusiasts that are doing it because they want to modify their car or want to modify their bike, and yeah. they're doing it for personal gratification, not to annoy anybody, just for a bit of fun. It's the it, boy it's, races at McDonald's, isn't it? That's what they yeah. want to be targeting. Yeah, is this not an extension of what the French tried to do two years ago by saying that you couldn't, when you bought a factory bike, if you bought it from new or even secondhand, you couldn't do any modifications to it. They tried to roll that in across the whole of Europe. Is that not mm. an extension of what the French tried to do? I, I think it's exactly what they, I have noticed that they've um, 
they I think they've tried it in the UK as well, and they had something like 116,000 people sign a petition that they had to actually alter it in Parliament because it would have yeah. been killing industry. It would absolutely uh, decimate uh, an of industry. Of course it would, because you know, loads and loads of people, maybe I'm just um, a little bit fucking strange, like I said, I'll buy a bike, be it brand new or second hand, and how I buy it is how it stays. Mm. I don't modify it. I don't change anything. The only time I'll change anything is if I drop it or come off it and I need to replace it, then maybe I will go and buy, you know, something different to replace it with, you know. But other than that, it's a stock bike. But there are people out there that like to spend money on their bikes and their cars. Why shouldn't they be allowed to do it? It's, it's making, it, me personally, it's making it individual. You, you know, you go buy a stock bike and if you're if you're that type of enthusiast you want your bike to be your bike and your bike, you yeah, put it you up put against other people it, yeah. you can go well that's definitely my bike because of this this is my bike because of that yeah but going on the you got the ceo of the motorcycle in, uh, industry association mr tony campbell he said we're growing pressure for, on the environment including noise pollution illegal exhaust fitted by some riders attract unwanted attention to the motorcycle community and do nothing to promote many benefits motorcycles can offer. All manufacturers produce new motorcycles that follow strict regulations regarding noise and emissions, and we welcome these trials as a potential way of detecting excessive noises in our community. Now, if you've got a proper racetrack exhaust and you're blitzing it around your local 30 mile an hour neighborhood, you you know, you're asking for trouble. Absolutely. You really are. And I, yeah. I think. I live in a little town and if I've got people ragging it up and down and it's a 30 mile an hour limit, I don't mind if you don't hear them until they hit that national speed limit and then you hear them drop down two gears and bye-bye, they're gone. Oh, yeah. Because they're out, you know, they're out of reach. But in it's 60 mile an hour for a reason, there isn't a house either side of the road. There yeah. isn't a chance of kids running across. So like I said, if they do this correctly, which I hope they do, if they target the mcdonald's car parks if they target the boy races in the underground stuff but then once again if they're going to do this give those people a place where they can because they're yeah, going to they're, they're going to want they, it it's they're going to do it yeah yeah they're going to do it so why not turn around and say right guys you can't you can't take your cars on the road but if you want to get a trailer and drag it up to this field or this airstrip yeah, or, or the, the car meets like they used to. Oh, I don't know if you remember the Chelsea Cruise. You know, I think it was the last Friday of every month. You know, yeah. you had the Chelsea Cruise where everybody went. I think it was cars one uh, the last Friday of every month and the, they had bikes on another Friday. But everybody met up there and they used to do the Chelsea Cruise. So they used to go from uh, the roundabout over the bridge round the block, back down, and into the park. And it was confined into an area, and they started making it harder and harder for people to do it. I don't even know if the Chelsea Cruise still goes on, but Doubt it was a, a group of enthusiasts that met up in the same place once a month, and it was all there. Mm. You know, they, they make it so hard for people that they start doing it everywhere, and then it just becomes a problem and people don't like it. The other thing is, is no one wants trouble. You know, no one sets out in the middle of the day going, I'm going to go rag my bike around my fucking car around because I want to get in trouble. Yeah. If there was places, and maybe this is a business idea for someone, you know, an exhaust venture where you, someone buys a field in the middle of absolute nowhere, pads it out so it doesn't disturb anyone else and lets everyone run wild. But then you've got the... You've got the alternative argument of if you really want a loud exhaust, get on a motorbike track, get on a track somewhere, go, go yeah, blitzing go around the track there. Place. But how, how much is a track? The track is exactly. so expensive nowadays, you know, and it's not like the good old days where your road insurance comes you. You have to have track insurance now. Which yeah. it, it is a massive shame. Like, you know, I hope it doesn't affect the industry, and I hope... I hope it's not the motorcycle community that actually gets strung up for this. You know, I do know a lot of people with a lot of loud exhausts. But 
if they do it right and they're targeting yeah. in the right areas instead of doing it every I, I, I'm, every corner, then everyone's going to be in trouble and it's going to be people aren't going to want to ride their bikes. People no, aren't going to want to no, buy bikes. They, they haven't even said where they're going to try it, have they? All they've said is uh, ministers can now apply to be part of the trial. So we, we won't know where the trials are going to be. So you, they're going to set the trials up and you're going to have people, everyday people, ride a bike to work every day with a loud exhaust and they're going to end up getting a ticket. And it's just not fair. No, it's not fair. We don't want it. We don't want to get screwed over. We don't want to be the ones sat there. I've been out for a little jolly and I've got a 60 quid fine and coppers knocking at my door going, I want to measure exhaust. That's just hassle yeah. no one wants. Yeah, you know. we we as a motorcyclist, we we're targeted anyway. Mm. You know, there's so many things, especially coming into motorbike season now. You know, you've got to be so careful because you are targeted as as a motorcyclist. You are targeted all the yeah. time, constantly. This probably runs into why sports bikes are dying off, and you know everything else is cracking on. You yeah. know, all the tourists are coming up because. You know, maybe the tourists don't really have a loud exhaust, do they? The sports bikes do. And, yeah. you know, why why run the risk? And yeah, it's... It, yeah, it's a lot of sports bikes that are modified. And we all know, you know, somebody in the community or we've all seen somebody in the motorcycle community that's a little bit wayward. You know, I, uh -huh. I can I can think of a, an incident a couple of years ago up the Ace Cap, two motorcycle coppers, Parked up in the ace cap, having a cup of tea. Guy come up the road, popped a wheelie in front of them, pulled into the car park laughing. The cop was walked up to him and went, don't do that on a public highway. We'll have to nick you for dangerous driving. Don't be stupid. Yeah. He went in, had a cup of tea, got on his bike, looked the cop was square in the eye, rode out, up to the roundabout, turned around, popped a wheelie in front of them, and then come back greeting because he got a ticket. You know, and they've given him a fair warning. Don't do it. They didn't need to. They didn't need no. to give him a fair warning. They, you know, arse old coppers would have just gone, mm hmm, take it straight away. Wouldn't have even battered an eyelid. Yeah. But let's hope for the, for our community, for you guys out there, for us. Well, not necessarily for us because we both got standard exhaust. But, well, let's hope that the yeah, standard exhaust clean. don't start getting pinged up because that could be a trouble, you know. Yeah, my, my biggest problem is the uh, is the speeding. No, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's my biggest problem. Man. Yeah, points make your license disappear and your insurance go up. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, as usual, please get in touch with us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all the usual stuff at, yeah. at Motorcycle Mad Madness Media. Yeah. Leave your comments. If you've got mm. anything to say on it, send us a comment. Let us know how you feel. Yeah. Let us know if we're right or wrong. Yeah. Especially if we're wrong, we love we love to hear your points of view. And don't forget Absolutely. that we're doing something stupid of riding the length of the country for two amazing little girls. So please get on our social medias, find the link, please donate, please get involved. If you know any companies that want to come on board and help us advertise this, please give us a shout. But once again, guys, thank you very much. This is Motorbike Madness Media. And it's been me, yeah. Jamie. And me, Scott. And until the next time, toodles. Good boy.